Students and staff return from winter break. Concerns of the Omicron variant spreading has schools ramping up COVID-19 safety measures. Yeah, we're seeing districts in western Washington offer testing and vaccine clinics to help reduce the spread. Fox 13 News reporter Frankie Thompson has more from doctors and the state superintendent on guidance to keep classrooms healthy. The highly contagious COVID-19 Omicron variant has more children and families getting tested. As students return to the classroom after holiday break, the Washington Superintendent of Public Instruction says now is the time for even more kids to get vaccinated. About 65% for our high school kids, about 55% for middle schoolers, and only about 30% for our elementary school students. So we've got a long ways to go there. It's the very best thing parents can do at this point. Washington State Department of Health says as of January 3rd, 77.6% of people five and older have at least one dose and 706 are fully vaccinated. Doctors say pediatric vaccine numbers are encouraging, but more kids need to get their shots since the COVID positivity rate is rapidly increasing across the region. The trouble is that it's very difficult to distinguish cold symptoms, flu symptoms, RSV and COVID. You can't. So we need to be testing when that's the case. Um, I am really glad that many of the schools are offering free testing right now. Superintendent Chris Rakedahl says remote learning will not be a statewide mandate, but says should the number of COVID cases continue to climb, he anticipates some classrooms or schools may have to temporarily learn from home. If it has to happen locally, it's because local public health has been involved, or we have such shortages of educators that we can't open a building and it'll be for a very short duration. To help keep classes open, Seattle Public Schools is collecting data from its district-wide rapid testing, and Highline Public Schools is offering testing and vaccine clinics to reduce the spread. But testing is hard to come by, as sites fill up quickly and at-home tests are hard to find. That's why the Tacoma Pierce County Health Department is partnering with libraries across the county to offer free test kits. These kits are in high demand. Um, we just ask that everyone be patient and kind and also just to take two kits per person because supplies are limited at this time. Rakedale says as more communities and districts ramp up efforts to test and vaccinate, he says let's not forget the basics of masking, distancing and hand washing to keep students and staff in school. Frankie Thompson, Fox 13 News.